Hello. How many people are you? Huh? Just four of us? Four twenty-nine ninety-six. Hi. Hello. I see I'm on camera. Hello. <laughs> Out there on the real world. <laughs> I do. All right. That's it? Yep. You got it. So we're here at the Silver Glen Springs. It's located on the eastern part of uh, the Ocala State Forest. Yeah, the spring itself uh, pumps out about 65 million gallons of water every day. And I think it's about seven acres wide. Um, there's not much here. There's like a spring and there's two walking trails. One is a mile, one is half a mile. Yeah, not really uh, much for facilities. So uh, yeah. if you have to use the restroom, there's a lot of A lot of porta potties. Porta -potties. So, but we're gonna go check it out, maybe go take a swim. Um, we're very excited because, you know, we love spring water. We love the blue, we love swimming in the blue. <laughs> and it's finally warm enough to get back into the water. So yeah. let's go check it out. Bears are active in this area. Ooh, lots of bear garbage cans. At least they got some water, in case you need a little bit of water. That's how you can feed the bear's water. Yeah. The question is, does a bear shit in the woods? <laughs> does it still smell? <laughs> uh, in the book, The Yearling, this is where Jody fell asleep watching the Milby uh, built. Apparently that whole story takes place around this area of Ocala. That's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty interesting. There's the boils. Oh yeah, look, it's boiling. Yep. Check that out. You're not allowed to swim there though. So there is no overnight camping here. There's no overnight parking. Um, you can snorkel, but you cannot scuba dive. But uh, that's just some of the many things that are that you can and can't do here. Yeah. And there are other parks in this area. You have Salt Springs, you have Alexander, mm -hmm. I think, and Jun Juniper? Uh, yes. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're like within 15 minutes of here. And I think they offer stuff. Yeah, like we've, done, we've done the Salt Springs already, but mm -hmm. keep an eye out because we'll be hitting the other springs. And we'll too. put that video below so you can check that one out if you haven't. So we walked up here and behind the little general store. We have changing rooms. Score. Come on, man, man. Okay, so we did our hike and so then I got changed. I do have a little changing area, so that's good. Now we got our stuff. We're gonna go inside. Check out the water. This water is a lot colder than it would be. Actually, I know it's always a save 72 degrees, but uh, no, it feels a lot colder today. Come on, you just gotta get in and get it over with. That's as far as he goes. <laughs> I have never seen that many fish down there before in one area like that. That is so cool. <laughs> Come check it out.
so about where the cave was, I couldn't make it any further in there. And all the pressure that was coming out of it, I think before the 65 million gallons comes out, it was pretty intense. But uh, yeah, I just kept getting pushed and pushed away from it. It was pretty cool though. So <laughs> we hiked in about what, like 20, uh, two minutes or so. You know, you get your signs that tell you how to get to Lake George from here. Unfortunately, it's a two mile hike and it's four o'clock and we have about a two and a half hour drive back to the other side of the state and no hiking shoes. <laughs> but we definitely want to come back here and hike this trail because this is beautiful and you don't have the sun beating on you because it's all nice and shady, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to make you think it was a bear. A bear calling your name. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is going to wrap up our video on Silver Glen Springs. Um, yeah, we had a fun time here. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. Um, right now we're, we're having our lunch. We got some uh, Jack Links here. <laughs> These are pretty good actually. But um, I don't know. We. We got. To, we actually got to swim with fishes. Yeah, the water was a little cold to begin with, but once we uh, got in and got used to it, it wasn't bad. But there's just schools of fish, as I'm sure you could tell from the video, and that uh, swim around. Yeah, it was actually really cool. Right behind us, we have a little friend while we're eating. But probably don't feed him. Yeah. Otherwise, he'll be up approaching all the humans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, as much as, as cute as he is and everything like that, never feed the animals because then they become uh, used to. To humans and they'll bother them too so but uh, I think that's gonna end this video here I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe below. maybe share with a friend below. and we'll put a link below to this place and to salt springs which is right down the road from here you can do all these springs in one day if you really wanted to yeah and as always you can leave a comment we welcome them and uh, Guess we'll, Guess see, you on we'll the see you on the next one. Oh, he's getting close. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> we better hurry up and get out yeah, of here. All right. <laughs> Later. <laughs>